Hi everyone, Susan Brown here. I never tire of talking about magnesium. It's important for overall health it's, and it's important to bone health. I get a lot of questions and I have been teaching you that if you have a, if you find that magnesium gives you loose stool, it's probably because you have a block to magnesium uptake. And if you take this liquid called choline citrate, a particular choline citrate, it will allow you to take to create a neutral pore and take magnesium into the shell. Now some people write and ask, well, if my magnesium level is pretty good, do I need to continue taking choline citrate? So let's just talk about choline. Choline is one of these really important nutrients. It's sort of similar to a B vitamin. Choline is really one of the nutrients that's most efficient in our diet and we don't hear much about it. So it's a very good idea to take choline and it's a very good idea to take citrate because citrate is the major alkalizing element. So from my perspective, it's even if you say, look, I'm not having any problem with magnesium, I'm not getting loose stools, it can be useful to use choline citrate, one teaspoon when you take your minerals because choline citrate will help with the uptake of both magnesium and calcium and it will provide choline, a key nutrient that's deficient in our diet, and citrate one of the major alkalizing forces in the body. So we find great success with choline citrate. If you, if you think you're fine and you don't need it for magnesium uptake, you could try dropping it. And as long as you're not getting loose stool, you could go with that. But I personally like to fill my deficiency or my likely deficiency of uh, choline using choline citrate. A second common question we get on magnesium is the question, Will I, I'm having a little trouble with magnesium now. It's giving me a little bit of a loose stool. Will I build up tolerance over time? Now remember, we're always talking about getting a very pure form of magnesium, a form that's easy to absorb. Like in, in our work, we use different, very purified salts of magnesium, three different types, all of which are alkalizing. So if you don't absorb one, you absorb the other. So you want a high quality magnesium, not something like magnesium oxide that's very hard to digest or even the amino acid chelates. Use a high quality magnesium. And it's possible if you say, look, I'm just not used to it. So I start with 100 milligrams. I can gradually work up. But many people have that block to magnesium uptake and it's really, and they don't, they don't work up very high. Here at the Center for Better Bones, we like to have more magnesium supplementation than calcium. We start out with a baseline of probably five or 600 milligrams magnesium. And many of my clients are doing a thousand milligrams of magnesium between diet and supplements. It's very difficult to get that much magnesium uh, with diet alone. And so the supplements generally in higher dose, if you can tolerate them, great. If not, go to the choline citrate and you can try to work up slowly, but that high of a dose, um, it's gonna be difficult if you have a, a block to magnesium uptake. 